It's Apex Legends Season 6, and I have the best settings for you in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back, Warriors, to another Apex Legends video. Today, I have for you my Season 6 Apex Legends settings for both console and PC. Now, my settings have changed a lot since my last video, but we're going to get into that all in this video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors so you don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. Now, let's get right into it. All right, guys, welcome back. So, today, I have for you my Season 6 Apex Legends settings. So, um, a lot has changed since my last video. I did the best ALC settings or advanced look controls for Apex Legends. Now, I've incorporated those on both my PC account and my PS4 account. My names will be linked down in the description below, guys. But um, we're back on my PS4 account, and I'm just going to show you what my settings would be for PC when we get to it. But we're going to go into this and break everything down. So let's go ahead and hop into settings, guys. Now, I'm not going to go into full detail on everything, but maybe just the most important stuff. Um, but not as far as the gameplay and video and audio settings, these really haven't changed too much from my last video, but I do want to touch on these again. The biggest thing is going to be down into the sensitivity and whatnot under my controller. So, uh, going over the biggest things is crosshair damage feedback X with shield icon. You just want this. It shows their, the, what level shield that they have, what color it is. And then it gives you an X for when you have your hit markers. Okay guys. So make sure this is on. This is very important information to have when you're fighting, you know, in enemy. So it tells you what color shields you, they have. And, and it shows the, the X on the crosshair to, to, you know, tell you that you hit them. So on top of that damage numbers, um, a buddy of mine that I recently started playing with on PC had this on floating and he he had trouble, um, you know, and it's not a bash against him, but he had a lot of trouble with calculating how much damage he was actually doing. I had him change it to stacking and it's helped him out immensely. So guys, put this on stacking. The reason why is because when you're hitting somebody with, let's say, 10 bullets, right, or five bullets, it's going to give you the total number of damage that you've done with those 10 bullets or five bullets or however many hits that you got with that, you know, the, that shot. And this can help you tell your teammates, hey, I did 90 damage to him, crack the shield, or I'm doing, oh, I did 16 flesh, whatever the case may be. Put it on second, guys. It's going to change your life. I've seen some people, you know, in – um in some videos or clips use both that's insane it takes up way too much of the screen guys i advise just keeping on stacking doesn't take too much of the screen and gives you an exact number okay um obituaries on i just like that weapon cycle auto cycle this is the other big one when you run out of ammo it automatically switches to your next gun now when you have this on keep in mind that you have to be completely out of ammo not just oh hey i shot all eight shots of my wingman and in, instead of reloading it should auto swap to my other gun no you have to be completely out of ammo that means out of the gun and everything in your reserve so you have to be completely out of ammo and this will auto auto swap when your ammo is out very huge very huge um next incoming feedback 3d stream remote on and off if you want it totally up to you i use my use of staring uh, on i want to be able to give respawn all the information that they need to help make this game a lot better okay colorblind access accessibility stuff all the same guys um i'm a video i have changed my field of view i used to play on 110 uh but now i changed it down to 104 the sweet spot for me is anywhere between um really 90 and 110 um i would start at 90 guys and just keep going up um, a lot of people play on 110 that's totally up to you for me my perfect sweet spot was 104 i've messed around this messed around with this all last season to try to figure out what my perfect field field of view is for me it's 104 guys feel free feel free to try it out let me know down in the comments how it works out for you um but yeah definitely mess around with this start with 90 and just go up with um small increments sprint to view shade guys this should be off auto audio auto audio um master sound effect volume 100 percent. you need to have that uh, a lot's going on with apex right now with the the sound cues so a lot of it is getting drowned out or you're just not hearing footsteps or the big energy guns right now or not you're not hearing them you know start to shoot you or charge up so this is a big issue but um make sure you have your sound effect volumes on i like music on for just you know like lobby music or music volume for in the background when i'm talking to people in between games and stuff so you can feel free to copy these settings but now let's hop into the cream of the crop guys the cream of the crop okay button layout my sensitivity now we're going to break a lot of this down 
sensitivity i have it on default it's the same thing i use for pc all default okay now if you're one of those guys that plays claw because you don't have a scuff like i do i have a vantage to scuff controller um i'm definitely thinking about going back to an impact although i do like the buttons on the side the biggest thing for me is the grips on the back but um i use default because i have a scuff i can uh you know reconfigure uh buttons on here um but if you don't have one definitely do bumper jumper you can hit l1 to jump or if you do play claw you could play default and just play claw um and that'll help you out a lot a grenader is also really good um if you're one of those uh kind of players ninja kind of helps too if you want to change your your pinwheel and stuff but i definitely advise bumper jumper if you don't have a scuff or anything with paddles um but if you do play claw you could use either one um bumper jumper or default depending on what your um style of play is guys but stick layout default if you do want to swap these around feel free um if you're a southpaw guy feel free but otherwise mine's on default interact and reload button is always tap to use and reload um i did have this hold to use for a while then tap to reload and then i tried out tap to use and hold to reload but it just was too much tap much faster for everything okay guys um crouch button toggle always toggle if you have it on hold it does make what little b hopping we already have easier but I use toggle i don't want to have to hold this when i'm crouching behind stuff um you know if i'm trying to heal or i'm trying to reload my, my you know i'm focused on other things happening i don't want to be having to hold down a button while i'm trying to do all this other stuff toggle is just much easier aim button always hold guys should never be toggle now l2 and r2 dead zone buttons okay now i had this at max for a while but then i realized through some testing that the higher this is the more pressure and harder you like essentially the more you have to push down for this before it goes in so if you have it on none you start to press this it's a little pressure or a little bit of push before it starts to ads okay so have this on none if you have it on default or moderate that's why defaults the second one up if you're having some issues with your things or you have the extended triggers and you want to just pull it down it does take it longer to ads um, or go into that effect so have this on none this is just how sensitive it is for you to ads if you have it on none it only takes a little bit of pressure then you instantly ads and then you can can you know do your fight so definitely put that on none now menu cursor speed along with sensitivity that we're going to get into is completely subjective all right guys uh, me this took a little while to um kind of adjust uh with both console and pc now i always advise starting right at the very edge of where the l2 r2 dead zone buttons is is none that's a good starting part point and then you just go up for me it's halfway through the first bar i've gotten very comfortable with this so this at this speed it allows me just to go in easily armor swap at a, at a fast pace and then get back into the fight some people have this higher some people have this lower for concentration issues um but definitely start here and then just go up but if you want to copy mine mine's at the very edge of the bar and then i go up too all right so now let's get into look sensitivity probably the biggest reason why you guys clicked on this video okay so look sensitivity as you guys know i did have my alc settings which i'll go down and i do still have them set up okay this is what i was playing on before going back now the biggest reason why i switched is because um it just didn't feel comfortable in the end i still felt like i was missing shots at the medium range distances more consistently uh, my longer range shots though with like the g7 was much better it was it was way better than it used to be but i still felt like that the medium gun range fights I was losing on a more consistent basis now the short range gunfights the up close stuff it was about the same so but i wanted to be able to use you know with the current gun meta now i wanted to be able to use like the r3 very effectively i want to be able to use the havoc with the turbocharger i want to be able to use the hemlock and just destroy people at the medium ranges so that's why i went back now for me my sensitivity look around is five okay on pc it's six Okay, on PC, it's 6. On console, it's 5. My ADS is, uh, sensitivity on PC is 4. And then on console, it's 3. This used to be 4, but then I felt like I was losing, you know, or I was missing too many shots close range. Okay, so uh, I put it back down to, th uh, to default. Now, my look sensitivity, guys, if you start at default, I always advise going up to at least 4, if not 5. I would stay somewhere between 4 and 6 for um a look sensitivity this just feels really good mine's in the middle this allows you to whip back and forth really really good if it's too slow 
you know, you're going to have a hard time tracking people. You know, you're going to have a hard time, maybe not tracking people, I'm sorry, but you're going to have a hard time just trying to whip around, look around and move effectively. So you want to be able to whip and slide jump or whatever the case is, wall jump. So I have mine on five. I would definitely advise everybody to start at four and just go up from there. ADS sensitivity again. Mine is default three. You will see all the pros. There is not a lot of pros that are super high six or even five. A lot of pros are at four or three, if, especially if they're on the controller. Um, on PC, it's the same thing. I know a lot of pros are four, four on PC or they're five, four on PC. Uh, mine's default on PC. Again, guys, it is four. Um, the reason for this is the mid to long range gunfights are much easier to control that recoil. And then up close, you don't have any issues. This also um, helps you with um, just tracking. Okay, tracking. There's not a lot of movement in Apex Legends as far as tracking. There's only a certain amount of moves you can do. But having it at default is for me just works. Okay, now if you're having trouble, you know, tracking people, definitely go up. If you're having trouble keeping up or keeping ahead or you can't stay on track, please go up. Okay. Um, now, my, the, also with the look sensitivity, guys, I almost forgot. The reason it's here in the middle is that this is just a really good feel for when you um, hip fire. Hip firing for me at five is really easy. I don't miss a lot of shots when I'm hip firing and swaying back and forth. So, again, guys, this is all subjective. You're going to change this um, depending on your stuff. But if you did follow my ALC settings in that last video and you're checking this one out, this is what I'm currently using. And I probably won't use anything else for the rest of the season unless something drastic changes. Per optic settings, I just have them as the same. I don't go per optic on anything. But if I did, this is what I would do. Times six and higher is just, you need it to be faster. But otherwise, I keep everything the same. Um, response curve, classic. Okay, I did try linear for a, a long time with these same settings um, in my testing. I didn't use fine aim, steady, or high velocity. But if you do like those, feel free to try them out. But linear and classic are probably the last two that you're going to pick through. Um, for me, linear just felt, you know, really good, but I just felt classic respawn with these settings was the way to go. If you're having any other issues with your response curve, guys, and you want to change it, the raw input linear with these is really nice along with the aim assist. But um, between these two, I would pick classic, man. Look, dead zone is the same as your um, L2, R2 button dead zones. But um, if your person is looking around without you touching the stick, you need to move this up. If you have it on none and he's not really moving around, Keep it on none. I have mine on small just because that's the default. And um, I've never really had an issue. I've never really turned it down. But um, a smaller dead, phone, dead zone allows for a better aim control. So I don't have this on none, but I have it on small. Movement dead zone, always small, guys. You don't want to have any issues with your movement. Vibration always off. Okay. So, guys, those are my Apex Legends Season 6 console and PC settings. Feel free to go back, pause the video, copy what I have if you like it, try it out. Let me know down in the comment section how well that works for you or what's different uh, from my settings to your current settings or what settings that you like to, to use or what you're trying to improve on. Let me know down in the comments. I can try to help you guys out and answer those. Also, guys, if you are enjoying these videos, make sure to drop a like, guys. I really do appreciate all the support. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors so you guys get all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay and as for me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the Apex Games. Peace.